One more thing I am going to tell you is that when I introduce this quantity, this amount is a unit amount of the refrigerator. So let me call it unit amount. And this is also unit amount. And for clarity, just for making things more clear, I'm saying that over here a total amount will come. It's a computational field. And based on whatever the order has been selected, this would be done at this front end, and we'll get this value at the front end. OK. Now making things more clear, I called off, uh, I called EF Cord and told him my problem that I'm spending too much time on computation and my software is becoming slow and can you optimize it? And can you do a fine tuning course for me? Performance tuning is a word that people generally give whenever their system goes slow. But the first and foremost thing they should understand is that whether they have designed their application to run faster or not. So EF Cord came and he saw the design and he was he said that you showed some skills over here, but what you are effectively doing is that you want a piece of information, and that piece of information is not dependent on order number. It's not dependent on the entity called order number, and uh, uh, it's hidden somewhere inside that entity called order number as per your database. So in order to get that information, you have to create dummy or garbage information so that you can put it in an entity called order master and order details. And then uh, since you are applying a logic where you're saying so that since your order numbers cannot be greater less than zero, so those those places are free for you and you can put in some information over there and try to retrieve it as said that needs. you're trying to store information not fully dependent on order number in an entity called order number hence you have to create some garbage wrappers or some dummy variables to wrap that information so that it becomes somewhat equivalent to what gets stored in order number and then you're trying to retrieve it so you're doing a fundamental mistake by storing an information that's not fully dependent on order number. Instead, what you should do is that you should create a separate entity. So he told me that you can create an entity called as item master. Called as item master. And the information that's not fully dependent on the order number, we can uh, order number and item number, uh, we can put it over here. So I said that if uh, if it is item master, so the information that goes over here would be item number. Okay, and then item name. Item name is not fully dependent on item number and order number combination. It's only dependent on item number. No matter what your order number is, whenever I choose an item number one, it will come up with refrigerator manufactured from Whirlpool. So item name is a fully dependent information of item number. Unit amount. This information is also not dependent on order number. Whenever you will choose uh, item number one, the unit amount would be fetched would be 19,000. It would never gonna change based on the order number. What's gonna change is quantity, which depends on item number as well as order number, and the discount amount, which depends on item number as well as the order number, because discount is settled based on the value of the customer or the value of the goods the customer is buying. Okay, so I said that you have you have to change your design fundamentally like this, and that's that got to what's called as putting your database into uh, into second normal form. He said remove this from mm -hmm. here. Quantity comes over here. Um, discount also comes over here. Okay. So we create a new entity that's called uh, item master and uh, 
we figured out that we had a concatenated key that was formed by order number and item number and there were some elements in that concatenated key uh, on that entity that we had formed which we have newly formed which were not fully dependent on the concatenated key so we uh, we tried a test on those items we figured out that item name was not fully dependent on order number and item number so it has to be moved out we said that the unit amount is not fully dependent on order number and item number they're only dependent on item number facility and we have to figure it out we have to pull that out as well so after doing this how my design changed that uh, i i got a new page constructed which said that uh, add item to repository i had an tab called item number item name amount submit so whenever i i have clicked on submit uh, after entering the item number item name and item amount the data was fetched from here and was put in this now what happens to my main screen I don't have to put in these dummy orders. I get rid of all these things. Dummy, dummy, whatever was dummy is out. Whatever is dummy is out of my databases as well. Now, whenever I put in an order for a customer, what happens is that uh, when I choose a particular item number under that order, it will go and search in this database. It will fetch in the unit amount from here. So no garbage data present, no hiding of information in, in a gamut of all the dummy fields is there. And I have a much streamlined database which is in what we learned from this exercise is that uh, in order to put your uh, database into second normal form you have to figure out some things that figuring out something is that uh, whether you're trying to put in an information uh, in a small amount of information into fields that uh, that are not really fit to the, get that information so in order to make that your in information tweakable into your existing entities you have to add something called dummy or something called as extra information just to for you to tweak that information so that it can be represented in a way uh, so that it fits in the existing database you're breaking the second normal form the more easier way is that when you had formed an entity uh, from the first normal form which had a concatenated key just check that all the elements in that concatenated key are fully dependent on uh, fully dependent on the concatenated key. If some of the elements are not dependent, fully dependent on the concatenated key, you would have to create a new entity. In our case, which we created, the, uh, the entity that we created was called item number, and uh, we segregated out the elements that were not fully dependent on the concatenated key or the number and item number. Uh, thanks very much. I hope. Uh, I was able to put forward the concept of second normal form and wait for my next lecture on third normal form.